look at what we've got today. Big old hefty bag. So in here is, should be, 10 DS lights. Now, I have no idea what colour, what condition. Well, they're all supposed to be for parts, but no idea. I haven't seen a photo of them. I've got sight unseen. 10 bulk job lot Nintendos. So I have no idea how buggered they are, if they're whole or what. So let's go through them and let's see how we've done. I have the amp meter on standby so we can see if they charge. I don't know if there's any prior repair attempts or anything. Turns on. Alright, dodgy screen. Not too hard. Alright, we've got a black one next. Busted hinge. Not turning on. Doesn't charge either. Alright. Oh, this one's a home job. It's on, busted hinge, busted screen. Okay, not too hard. Next up, a white one. Power switch. Buggered. Let's see if it charges. Charges, draws an amp. I'm going to assume it's just the power switch problem. That shouldn't be too bad. Got a shiny blue one next. Turns on. Might be a battery thing. Go. Oh, look at that. Uh, top screen. It's all white around the edges there. Another top screen. Because I hope I don't have enough screens. Another black one. Point power on. Where's the charger? Oh, nothing. Charge it for half a second and stops. Nothing. Oh, it feels like it might be missing its battery. It feels a little lighter. No charge. Nothing at all. And is that four, five, six, seven, eight, three to go. Another pink one, busted hinge, but it boots out. Another pink one, Doesn't boot up, charging very slowly. Might need to get some juice in it before it does anything. And another black one. Just another busted hinge. Alright, so the fact that one, two, three, four, five, six of them turn on. So they're probably going to be pretty easy fixes. This one might need a few more minutes to get some more juice in it. I'll give it a couple minutes. And you see that's jumped up to 0.42 amps now. And it turns on too. 
Ah, top screen again. Some whitening in the corner, corners, couple of lines. All right. So overall, three that didn't turn on. Let's look at those three first. Find out what the problem is those with those, because the seven that do turn on, the fact that they turn on, pretty simple fixes to me. As long as I've got enough screens. So we'll start with these three. So it turns out I suck at maths because it's actually four of them that didn't turn on. Uh, so let's start with those four. Find out what's going on there. Why not start with the black one? So, uh, I mean, first things first here. Open it up, change the battery, right? Always going to start with the basics. So I'm going to open this up. And given I've got nine other consoles that hopefully will have batteries, I'll just borrow one of them, I think. Uh, that one looks all right. No swelling or anything like that. Contacts look all right. So here's one I got out of one of the other ones. Look at that. Wow. That's a, that's a very easy start. Very easy start. Can't complain. I'm just going to quickly speed run through this uh, hinge piece replacement, the upper frame replacement, because I've already got some videos where I cover this, so no point going too in-depth to it. And given I've got 10 consoles to cover today, we might just... Uh, yeah, speed run through this a bit. So there it is. New one all together. And reassembled. Seems happy, looks happy. Let's make sure that the buttons and the touch work correctly. Seems accurate. Shoulder buttons working. All the face buttons working. Yeehaw, one down. What's next? Here we go. Another black one. Also not turning on. That's why I started with these ones, to be fair, as I just said before. Just gonna check because the battery didn't seem to want to help it after using the exact same one I used in the previous console, which did work. Let's quickly check some things. We've got continuous fuses. They are alright, you probably can't hear the beep, but they are beeping for me which is good. Oh, it's just got a bit of flux on it. Makes it a bit harder. Get a little clean. And a scrub with the old IPA. Very handy stuff. If you don't have some, get some. Yeah. Beep. Beep. Just checking the EM10 as well. It wouldn't usually stop it from booting, just charging. But you can never be too sure with these things. I'm have a quick look under the scope because it wasn't turning on from replacing the battery and the basic checks on up top. All came back good. Uh, kind of speed running this one too as well so the only thing that I saw of any concern was that via did have a little bit of something something on it Just giving it a tidy up with the old IPA again apart from that the board did look pretty clean it was a blob of something over near this game port too that I saw before making our way back over there now 
everything else along the way looking okay. For some reason there is an absolute butt ton of flux on this too. I did not put that there and I do not know how long that console's been uh, closed up and not used for but that just seems like such an excessive amount there. Look at it. Impressive. Just under here, something looked a bit sus too. Whatever that thing is there. Almost looks like a little more, uh, huh, mold spore or something, but could have just been dirty flux or something. And after tidying that up, how do we look? Okay, it works. Ah, no, another top screen. Alright. A bit strange what got that to go again. But anyway, we'll crack on with the top screen. Do a little speed run on it. Because I've got videos already doing top screens, so. This is the only top screen I have left. So if I don't get any more soon, those other four with the buggered screens are probably not getting done today or this week or however long it takes me to finish this. I did buy some more so hopefully they're not too far off. But you can never tell. Let's quickly do those joints. Speakers attached. Nice and easy. One touch, all you need. Get back in that top shell. We've been over this. And how are we looking now? Did whatever we did to the board, new top screen, good as new. Yeehaw. It's working. Buttons, shoulder buttons, face buttons, 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 working. Here we go. Number three. So this one didn't turn on because the power switch is jammed or the, the actual little buttony piece is in the wrong position. So this could very well work once we align that switch again or it could be totally rooted. One way to find out, open that bad boy up. Okay, initial thoughts, looks good. The switch is down in the correct position now, so it's not broken off or anything like that. Uh, the board itself looks okay. Let's whack the battery in. Okay, let's whack a different battery in. That one's dead. Okay. Both screens look alright, turns on. No touch. No touch. So, someone's definitely opened this one before, so um, have a look at this. Digitizer not plugged in. So I guess whoever had it open before couldn't do it or 
or wouldn't do it. Oh, it's broken. The actual traces on that connector are broken. So maybe they realized they broke it, gave up on it, and just whacked the back on it. So, I mean, digitizer, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You can get that swapped over nice and easy. See it there, not really, kind of. There's our new one. So shiny. Let's get her all back together. Click. Get it back together and then calibrate that digitizer. See how good it is. Hopefully nice and accurate given it's new, but aftermarket parts can't always be trusted. Much to my disappointment. How are we looking? Wow. Look, the touch works now. So we're on the right track. That was never really going to be a difficult one, was it? gonna take the top back piece off because it's not in the best condition I've got a better one I'm gonna swap it over rather than trying to clean it and hope it scrubs up all right Out with the old. And give that a little clean around the edge. It shows up pretty easily on these white ones. Underneath the clear coat. In with the new. That looks way better. Look at that. Testing time. I think we're good here. Let's crack on. Pink one now. This one I thought felt a little bit lighter. So the battery could be missing completely. Or I could just be off my chops. And look at that. No battery. So this could also be a pretty simple fix. I've gotten pretty lucky with these so far. Hmm. It turns on, but that bottom screen's having a rave. I think it just looks a bit funny on the screen in general because it doesn't translate well when you film it. But the, the bottom screen is proper having a rave. The colours are off and it's fuzzy and, and vibing, I guess. Don't know if I have one of them. I found one on the shelf, so let's hope it works because I have no idea if it's any good or not. Digitizer's a bit rough on it. But we'll, we'll whack this in, see if it works, confirm that it is definitely a screen issue. And if so, then we'll probably keep the original digitizer and put it back onto that screen. The 
Yep. Does not look much nicer. Man, I'm getting lucky. I can't believe this. So we've got our new screen, original digitizer, with an actual battery in there. And I think our pink one's good. Buttons, shoulders, face, working. You saw the games on the home screen there also loaded. I'll clean that top bit after. Get the get that cleaned off. That should clean off no dramas. Move on to the next one for now. This one turned on along with the other pink one. Um, they seemed all right for the most part. I didn't see any defects on the screen anyway, and they turned on, so it's more of a case of testing them, finding out what is wrong with them, apart from the obvious on this one, which is, again, a broken hinge piece. Pretty common. But I had enough of those uh, upper frame pieces to do them all, so they, they were only a couple bucks each. So it's not too much of a drama. Again, since we've already done one of these, I'm gonna speed run this one. Let's go. There it is. New piece, new frame. And magic. So good. Final test. Games loaded. Digitizer accurate. Buttons working. We're at the halfway mark here. All right. Another pink one. That's yeah, pretty yucky and yellow. All right. Game Boy Advance game didn't show up. Still didn't show up. Everything else seems to be okay. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna clean that port out when I get it out. Now the other thing is our shell there is quite clearly broken. I do not have a pink upper frame. So I do, however, have one more complete shell. So let's reshell it. We're gonna transition it from a pink one to this lovely white one you see before us now. Speed ran that one. Cause I think the second last video I did, or maybe third last was one about using one of those shells. So get rid of that old pink one. Here we are with our brand new aftermarket white one. Again, I had to make some minor adjustments to it. But if you need to see that, check out that video um, reshelling um, yeah you'll find you'll find the answers in there number six done and this has been spread out across a couple of weeks because I did wait for those screens unfortunately both suppliers I bought the screens from told me not in stock. So it was two weeks of waiting to find out absolutely nothing was coming. So I'm going to put them to the side for now because, you know, screens are straightforward and easy. So 
Here we are, 6 out of 10 done so far. I will finish off those other four at a later date, give an update on them, and hopefully these have sold by then and we can give an update on what I made out of these ones. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we shall see you in the next one.